we're ready to start our second face of Easter. If you remember, in our first face of Easter, we talked about baby Jesus, Mary, the mother of God, and Father Joseph. In our second face of Easter, we see Jesus. Jesus is now 12 years old, and he and his family took a trip from Nazareth to Jerusalem. They went to the they went to the holy city, to the temple, for a festival. When it was time to go, Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, thought that Jesus was with all the other children that were leaving Jerusalem, too. When they got outside the big city gates and they started looking for Jesus, they saw that he wasn't there. So they went rushing back into Jerusalem through the city gates into the city, looking in the streets, looking in storefronts, looking for Jesus. They went to the temple, hoping that he might be there. When they walked in, they saw Jesus. But what they saw surprised them. For Jesus was talking to the scribes and to the Pharisees and to the chief priests. And they were listening to him and he was listening to them. Never before had they heard of a child speaking such wisdom. Mary and Joseph rush in and they say, Jesus, you're supposed to be with us. Jesus said to them, didn't you know that I would be in my father's house? But Mary and Joseph did not understand what he meant. Instead, Jesus went back to Nazareth with them. I wonder what stories we might connect with this story that we already have here in our room. So this one is maybe a little bit harder to think of an actual story that goes along with this. But in looking around our godly playroom, I noticed that we have scrolls. And in the temple, that was what was used to share God's word. So someone might have also gone and gotten our temple from the story of the ark and the temple. So. Can you tell your parents any other stories that maybe we've had here this year that would connect to this story? And maybe you might be able to share a story with your mom or dad about a time when you were lost and found. And maybe your parents might have a story they can share with you about a time when they were lost and were found. You can repeat after me, dear God, Thank you for the gift of your son. Help us to keep him at the center of our lives. And may we never leave him behind. In Jesus' name, amen.